start with a quick, easy question, actually. How many people here have used Wikipedia, let's say, this week? How many people used it today? Yeah, that's not really surprising. So um, Wikipedia, actually, since, uh, since its inception back in 2001, has kind of become this go-to source for knowledge. So that it ends up getting over 300 million views per month. Um, it's, uh, it's kind of the first place that you find any Google search. Um, and compared to that, how many people have read my thesis? <laughs> Which is one liar. Um, and, and so that's kind of how I got into editing Wikipedia. So I put all of this effort into my thesis, particularly the introduction. I'd made all of these great images, and then I was kind of disappointed that you know, my supervisor read it, my examiners read it, my parents didn't read it, my partner sort of read it. Um, I reread it, noticed some typos. Uh, and so I started putting some of the images that I'd made and the text that I'd made into Wikipedia, and articles that I had written uh, got a million views per year, which is bizarre. Um, and actually, not only is Wikipedia read, it's relied upon. So here's just some stats about medical information on Wikipedia. So um, medical students, unsurprisingly, almost all use Wikipedia with a small percentage who pretend that they don't. Um, but even practicing doctors report using Wikipedia to look up medical information as part of their jobs. <laughs> practicing scientists look up scientific information on Wikipedia. And in fact, the general public, more than half, use Wikipedia to find medical information online. And this isn't, you know, this is aside from, uh, I don't know, teachers and lawyers. I mean, Wikipedia has been cited in more, more than 400 judicial decisions. So compared to who uh, reads Wikipedia, how many people here have written something for Wikipedia? Hey, excellent. Well, thank you to all of you. Um, so actually, the trend for that is very different. So there was a uh, spike around 2008. And since then, it's declined with a kind of a plateau. Um, and it's reached this sort of stable level of just a, uh, just a smidge above 30,000 um, editors in English Wikipedia. But the demographics are highly skewed. So that's mostly men, mostly white, mostly highly educated, mostly with technical backgrounds. So one of the big challenges in Wikipedia is getting a more diverse contributor community to ensure more diverse coverage of topics. So um, if Wikipedia is a city, you guys know the main roads on it. And actually, you might also know in some detail some of, the, uh, some of the suburbs that you frequent. But I'm hoping to try and introduce you to some of the, the smaller side roads where some of the interesting stuff also goes wrong. So we're going to talk about um, some of the uh, policy pages. We're going to talk about some of the process pages that sort of sit behind the scenes. Um, and so even though Wikipedia has this very dominant position now, it hasn't always been that way. And actually, there were definitely some missteps in its early years. Um, in fact, one of the earliest uh, big um, uh, discrepancies was in terms of how it was going to be funded. So in fact, the way that Wikipedia is funded these days is by requesting donations. But in the early days, the idea was floated about, well, maybe we could put adverts on to revenue raise. And I'm going to be mostly talking about English Wikipedia in this talk, but in fact, Spanish Wikipedians hated this idea so much that they almost 100% completely left the website and founded a competing encyclopedia. And it actually took years before that community rejoined Wikipedia and the, the two projects were merged together again, effectively. Um, and actually, one of the other things that came up around 2003 is this idea of a mascot. Who here remembers the Wikipedia mascot? Ah, oh, few, because there's actually two that, that have been um, common. The first one was this. So this, <laughs> this, was, this was meant to be the Wikipede. Um, and so, so the second idea that was proposed after, after the votes um, that brought this one into effect was like, oh, well, you know what, actually, I see what you're going, there, going for there. You're going for something that's kind of cute, but also kind of creepy. So how about this as the official mascot? <laughs> And luckily, uh, that's kind of all been forgotten about these days. Um, but even, even when, you, when we look at some of the, the more main road articles, there's some pretty obscure topics that are represented on Wikipedia. So I'm just going to give some examples. And these are just from list articles, not, not main articles, just list articles. Um, so there's a list of inventors killed by their inventions. So I thought I'd give you a picture of uh, this was an early wingsuit invention. Uh, this guy died jumping off the Eiffel Tower. Um, there's a list of people who have lived in airports. This guy lived in an airport for multiple years. 
um, there's a list of animals with fraudulent diplomas. And I was very disappointed that there weren't any images of, of any of the cats, dogs, or rabbits with fraudulent diplomas. So here you go, here's a whole load of sexually active popes. Um, I feel rather sorry for sad pope in the top left. Um, and actually, to keep track of these lists, there's, uh, of course, a list of lists. There's a list of list of lists, and there have, at four points, been created and deleted a list of lists of lists of lists. <laughs> and actually, um, this gives you a kind of an idea. So this is, um, uh, this is the sort of thing that you can find on the talk pages of many articles, where there's discussions as to whether articles should be split apart, merged together, um, created anew, rewritten, deleted. Uh, and so in this case, there have been multiple discussions to decide, yes, we definitely do not want this page in existence. <laughs> There's also, within the main space of Wikipedia, to the best of my knowledge, there is a single joke that has been allowed on, uh, allowed on the website. And it is on this page, so it's uh, about cetacea, which is uh, the group of animals that contains whales, dolphins, and porpoises. Um, and so you can see that this page is documenting uh, the locations and habitats and sizes and images, where possible, of these various different cetacean groups. And these two comments were added uh, late in 2012, and there was ongoing debate through 2014, 2015 as to whether the joke should be allowed to remain, and since then there has been consensus that these are permitted jokes on Wikipedia. Um, so the way that this whole thing is, is run is qu actually quite interesting. It's quite a unique um, combination of styles. So there is an element of democracy. So I've already mentioned how decisions are, um, are, are made by consensus. Uh, in fact, some of the large decisions made on the encyclopedia, like um, the first, what the wording of the first sentence for genetic modification should be, had over 200 comments in it. Um, but uh, there's also elected committees. So for example, committees who arbitrate disputes. On top of that, there's a whole layer of bureaucracy, but there's only really three policies that you really need to know. Number one is reliable sources. Number two is that those sources should be verifiable. It doesn't matter if they're reliable, if someone else can't go and check that you've represented them correctly. And the third one is maintaining a neutral point of view. Uh, and there's also quite an extensive manual of style of how Wikipedia's pages are meant to be written, although that's uh, adhered to relatively loosely. And finally, there's this uh, third large slice of complete anarchy. There's no overarching structure that tells people what they're meant to be working on. And that means that people work on what they're interested in, which is why Wikipedia has very detailed coverage of some areas and somewhat disappointingly less detailed coverage of others. Um, but what that does mean is that it makes the system extremely flexible. And the upshot of this is that for a page like this, so Flinders Street, Railway, uh, Flinders Street Railway Station, actually the way that it's written is this extremely highly collaborative process. So each of these colors indicates a different person writing this text. And actually, even just slightly behind the scenes, if we look at the talk page that sits behind every article, this is where people discuss how to structure that article, what information should be included, what information shouldn't be included. And some of these pages can uh, be many uh, dozens or even hundreds of times longer than the actual article itself and have built up discussions over many, many years. Um, and so to kind of give you an idea of the activity level, this is just a recording that I made um, uh, a few days ago of the live edit stream that are being, that's being made to Wikipedia. So on, the, uh, on your left is the names and edits that are being made, and on the right, the small circles are small edits, the large circles are larger edits. And actually, um, uh, this is relatively inactive because this is in the middle of the American nights. During the middle of the American day, it's much more active. Um, and during the same one minute period, there's uh, a whole load of images that were uploaded and I picked six just examples from that. So you can kind of see the diversity of imagery that's also being uploaded. And actually, these images aren't just used in Wikipedia, but these are used all over the internet because they're openly licensed under what's called a Creative Commons license, which means that you're actually allowed to use them so long as you attribute them to the author. And in fact, you'll notice that in the bottom corners of my slides, I'm always making sure that I mention who originally took these images. Um, so, given the level of activity that's going on, how does Wikipedia prevent being swamped by you know, a, a post-apocalyptic avalanche of, of post-truth fake news? 
Well, it's kind of this combination. I've already mentioned this sort of heavy reliance on citing sources. And also the way it's organized is there's very special interest wiki projects. So there's groups of editors who may be interested in medicine or might be interested in cars or might be interested in just watching that live edit stream or might be interested specifically in deleting of articles. And these different groups organize uh, watching over the different parts of the encyclopedia. And essentially, the way that it's done is by checking and checking and checking everything that's uh, going on through the encyclopedia. So if you imagine this sort of life, uh, uh, life cycle over on the left, an article is created, it's modified, and occasionally it's deleted. At the creation stage, there's about 2,000 new articles that get created each day. Um, about 70 to 80% of those are rapidly deleted, um, often for copyright infringement, sometimes for libel, sometimes because they're insufficiently referenced or insufficiently notable. Um, but there's two groups, firstly the Articles for Creation group and also the New Page Patrol who keep an eye on those. At the under, other end of the uh, process, there's Articles for Deletion and there's about 50 additional articles that are deleted every day. Some of that is a very rapid process called speedy deletion and then occasionally something gets proposed for a full deletion discussion which may take multiple days to decide whether an article is going to be removed or not. But really, the, the bulk of the activity happens in this middle stage, the modification. So every time an edit is made, uh, there's a whole set of bots um, that have been trained on various AI algorithms that go through those and check whether it looks like it's vandalism, whether it looks like it's copyright infringement, uh, and make very quick decisions on those. Uh, and sometimes it'll revert the edit immediately, and sometimes it'll flag it for human editors to then go and do a double check. So as I mentioned, that live edit stream, there's usually maybe 10 to 20 editors at any given time watching that stream. And finally, in that longer term, there's this, uh, uh, there's sort of an hours to days process of more detailed checking of all of the changes that have been uh, made, and that's usually organized within those wiki projects. And at the other end of the quality spectrum, um, there's actually a, a sort of an internal review process to, uh, to catalog the best of Wikipedia. So you might notice some of these symbols up in the top right corner of Wikipedia articles. So there's firstly good uh, articles, and these have been reviewed internally by at least one other editor. And then there's featured articles, which have been reviewed by between five and 15 other editors, which will also include things like going through a, a random sample of the references to check that those references being cited are truly supporting the sentence that is actually uh, purporting to be supported by them. Um, and additionally, there's uh, these did you know little single sentence facts that appear on the front page, but even those have one to five people do an additional layer of checking um, for correctness before these things end up in the fr uh, on the front page of Wikipedia. So you'll have sometimes seen this today's featured article up at the top and the did you know, but there's a huge amount of work that actually goes on behind the scenes to make sure that those uh, have been thoroughly checked before they get promoted in that way. And actually, there's also um, uh, now, these days, uh, a process whereby um, academics, researchers, and other experts can write articles for academic journals that get peer-reviewed and then copied over to become new Wikipedia pages. And also, in the opposite direction, um, Wikipedia pages can be submitted uh, to academic journals for peer review. Uh, and again, this is to try and provide an additional layer of fact-checking and accuracy over the top of the usual processes. Uh, and so you end up with something that looks a bit like this. So if you look up selfish genes on Wikipedia, you end up with something that was, that, uh, was published last year, uh, sorry, two years ago in PLOS Genetics. And you can see the version as it was published in the journal, and it also seeded the new Wikipedia page. Uh, and so with all this going on, it's actually quite intimidating for newcomers. You know, there's policies going on, there's all these wiki projects around the place. And so there's a few places that are really nice locations to, to start learning about Wikipedia. So the first place is a, a called the Tea House. So if you type into Wikipedia, Wikipedia colon Tea House, it'll take you to this area for newcomers where you can ask basic questions and there's tutorials and, uh, and videos for how to get started. And there's also people who, again, kind of hang out there in order to help onboard new editors. Um, there's also, as I've mentioned, all of these uh, different wiki projects. And again, if you type in Wikipedia colon wiki project directory, it'll list uh, list them. There's hundreds of them. No matter how niche your interest, there'll be a project of people who are all also interested in that topic and uh, updating Wikipedia pages on it. 
Um, and one of those wiki projects in particular I want to give a shout out to, which is wiki project Women in Red. Um, and they do an amazing job on the encyclopedia. So I mentioned that um, the majority of Wikipedia editors are male, and so it's slightly unsurprising that the majority of biographies on Wikipedia are about men. In fact, it's over 80% of biographies on Wikipedia are about men. Um, that's been very slowly improving over the last years through extremely dedicated efforts by this group. Uh, and the red refers to um, turning the red links in Wikipedia, which indicate that a page hasn't yet been created, into blue links, which show that a page has been created. So I totally recommend helping out with that project if you ever have the time and inclination. Um, and so with that, uh, you can find all of these slides using the QR code. Um, they're all online, uh, and if it's possible, I'd like to leave you with um, the live updating version of that, uh, of that um, set of uh, imagery that I put in the middle of the slide whilst I'm happy to ask, uh, answer a few questions. <laughs>